Now, the prosecution has wrapped up its case against the six leaders of City Harvest Church after it finished questioning its last witness, audit manager Fung Ai Fang. Church founder Kong Hee and his five deputies are accused of misusing millions in church funds to boost the career of his wife, singer Sun Ho. Claire Huang takes us through the highlights of the case. After 42 days in court, the defence lawyers have indicated that they will submit to the judge that the defendants have no case to answer. Both the prosecution and defence will exchange written submissions on this in March. In April, District Judge Si Ki Un will decide if the prosecution has produced sufficient evidence to support its claims of criminal breach of trust, among other things. The prosecution argued that this was done through sham bond investments in Extron and Ferna. Last month, the lead auditor in charge of the church's accounts testified that the bond investments made by the church did not make sense. Mr. Sim Guan Singh of Baker Tilly said that the bond transactions between the church, Extron and Ferner looked as though they were set up for specific purposes, which would raise a lot of red flags. But the defence countered that the investments were not sham just because Mr. Sim said they were not sound. A key point of contention was the secrecy that shrouded the discussions among the accused. Referring to various emails, the prosecution tried to make the point that the defendants were hiding information from the auditors as well as church members. But the defence pointed out that there was no breach in the church's constitution when the building fund was used for the investments. Its case, that it was always clear that the church's building fund monies were used to produce Miss Ho's music albums and that the auditors signed off on the various audits. It also stressed that no church money was lost. But the court also heard that the information auditors based their work on came from the accused.